Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Spillway. You know, sometimes I forget to or I forget to set the ADM video to go live. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to do it. And uh today <laughs> I was both of them. Last night I forgot to. Dude, why aren't you, why aren't you, what the absolute, hello? <laughs> what the, hello? Hello? Um. <laughs> oh, what is happening? What is happening? I've never seen this before. Do I have any method of dealing damage to him? Oh, I do. I do. Grenades. Now he's the okay, we, we, we may be able to, to make our way out of this. We can't shoot him. He's, he's immune to being shot. So, you know, there's that. My god. My god. I've never had... <laughs> That's amazing. Can I shoot through him? No. It doesn't seem like I can shoot through him. Like, right. Oh, it seems like I can, actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I need, uh, I need another grenade, though. <laughs> Otherwise, he's not going to die. I'm not sure where he is. Like, he's probably offset or something, right? We have to take out all the rest of these guys, though, first. Uh, we need... Like, are there any? Do ammo boxes even spawn round one? I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. Do do they spawn round one? You're immune too. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. I'm, he's like trying. To block it though, but but I can't. I'm I'm just astounded by uh. That's you you are gonna be so you are immune as well. Yeah. What the absolute heck? I've never I've never experienced this. Um. Are you immune? Yeah, you're immune. Okay, we're gonna die. Start again. See if that maybe fixes it. Um, and then we'll do the whole, like, uh, restarting the game thing, maybe. Because there's some funky stuff going on here. I'm going to open up my IQ launcher. I'm not going to be like last time. Some funky stuff going on here, okay? <laughs> there's some funky stuff going on. What the heck was that? What the heck, dude? Okay, so we're gonna start again. Hopefully, like, we don't have God Mode Zeds. <laughs> I have no idea what I was talking about before we got distracted by uh, by some cheaters, by some dirty cheaters. But uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen again. It might it might be a, an issue with the game. It could be an issue with uh, like might it could be a hardware issue even, possibly. I won't I won't deny that. I, I'd 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 be surprised if it were anything but software, but um, it could be a hardware issue. I've been having some hardware issues lately, so yeah, I think that this guy's immune, right? Yeah, this guy's immune. Okay, so I have a we'll we'll just go ahead. We're gonna restart here real quick. We'll just um, put that one on and then, yeah, yeah, close the program. Close the program. We don't need it open. We don't need it. We don't need it. We're gonna get Killing Floor 2 open, okay? We're gonna get it open again and hopefully, for the love of God, I hope it works. Please, I beg of you. Don't make me restart my computer and waste the last five minutes of my life. Uh, 
Uh, we got people talking about uh, completely wireless earbuds and stuff. My preference for completely wireless earbuds is that I don't have wires. Okay, okay. Um, this one. Let's try again. Let's 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 try let's try again. Please, please, please! I beg of you. I beg of you. Work. The are close. Safety's off. We're talking about uh, wireless earbuds today. Some people don't get the the preference for it, but. Yeah, there's, there's ammo boxes round one. Okay. I mean, give me the grenades, I guess. Um, and for me, I, 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 I prefer wireless everything when I can. Um, wires are just annoying, honestly. The headphones I'm wearing right now are uh, wireless. Uh, my Samsung Buds that I have right here, we can kind of clap them together uh, those are completely wireless you know everything's everything's nice and wireless and it's it's a it's a beautiful thing really and uh, the, the the reason for that is just that there are no wires and you know you can you can call it you know captain obvious or whatever but I think what it boils down to is just that the wires annoy people more you know like if, if you don't mind the wires and you're like I don't really get the point behind True wireless, like the obsession with with true wireless stuff. I I mind the wires, you know. Even even my VR headset is wireless, <laughs> you know. Like I just I don't like wires. I don't like wires, dude. I do have uh, a pair of wired earbuds uh, for use with my computer if my headphones are dead, or if uh, sometimes also I I talked about it a while back. Um, sometimes I just don't like using headphones. Sometimes I just want like smaller, lighter, less clamping pressure kind of stuff. And uh, no, I didn't even see you, dude. Sometimes you just want that, you know. And um, so I have them for that. But uh, I don't, I don't use them all that much. It's, it's, it's there if I need it. I used it the other day when I was uh, testing some stuff in VR. If you know what I mean. Um, for, for a brief uh, moment or two. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just, just I, I like, I like wireless. You know, I, just, I hate feeling wires. I hate moving around and, and feeling wires touching me. You know, I just, it's, it's the worst feeling. I don't have uh, I don't have wireless mice. Like I don't like particularly care about wireless mice. Wireless keyboards don't really matter to me, you know, because I don't I'm not I'm not affected by the wire on my mouse, you know. I have I have pretty high sensitivity really, um, and I'm pretty good with that. I don't I don't really use like move my mouse all that much. Like genuinely, like genuinely, I uh, I have about like. Probably, maybe about a two or three inch square on my on my mouse pad where my sensor is actually like at at any point in time. And uh, I have a heavy mouse anyway, so a little bit of extra cord like cable drag is fine since it's consistent. Since I'm not moving my mouse all that much anyway, like even just like this is. Like about an inch and a half on the mouse pad. I don't. I don't use a very low sensitivity, right? Um, so the cable drag isn't really a concern for me. Um, and then on top of that, I also do have it mounted on my desk, so it's in such a way that I can move it like quite a good amount of distance and, and all over the place without really uh, noticing any kind of additional uh, extraneous uh, cable drag or anything like that. Extraneous. I don't know. I'm getting my butt handed to me in chess. I'm getting my butt handed to me in chess. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm not very good at it, so... I have fun with it, though. It's, it's some of the most fun I have. It's 
strangely enough, playing chess. So when when you when 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 I when I see uh, a move that I can make, and then like I'm like yeah, so they're gonna react like this. I'm gonna be able to do this. They're gonna do that, and you know you you like you like see it. You know you just I just I feel like such a an absolute genius. You know when when it all comes together. You know like all according to Keikaku. Keikaku Dori. It's uh, it's a wonderful feeling. And uh, even when I lose, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm an idiot. Like, why did I why did I put my queen there? Why did I put my queen, you know, where it's not protected, in such a way that the other queen would die? Like, you don't want if if ever in chess. No, not if ever, but like for the most part, if uh, if you lose your queen, and they still have their queen, and that you know didn't give you the opportunity to put them into checkmate, you know, then, uh, you, the game's over, they won. The only, the only time that you really want to be losing your queen is if it's going to give you a disproportionate advantage, or if you get their queen uh, out of it so you can, like, trade queens. But, uh... Oftentimes I end up putting my queen in a spot where I'm like, oh, this is a great spot for the queen. And then like the bishop that I didn't notice or whatever just comes in, takes it, and I have nothing to even take the bishop with. And I'm like, yeah, you just, I'll just resign. <laughs> I'll just, uh, just hit that little flag down there. You, you've won. You've bested me. It's, uh, it's hard to, te to, to keep track of everything on the game board at once. It's, it's uh, like very impressive seeing people who are like really good at the game play it because. Uh, like they rarely miss something on the board, you know? Like like all of those pieces, there's what, like thirty-two pieces or whatever? They like they know where all of them are at any one time, and it's just it's uh It's really impressive, because I can't do that really. So I mean I, I could eventually, but I'm not I'm not planning to put enough time to, to be like you know, a, a grandmaster chess player. I'm planning to put in enough enough time to have fun, you know, maybe one or two matches a day. I might get to like, you know, a thousand, you know, on the, like a thousand elo or whatever kind of stuff. You know, I might get up to, up, up to like the, the low, very low thousands. I, I wouldn't consider myself to be good enough to ever get to 1500 or, or willing to put in the, the effort necessary to, to be that kind of a player. Um... But it's fun anyway. It's fun. It's uh, it's good fun. You've got a real fight ahead. It's good fun. I Even losing feels good because you get to learn. You know, it didn't stand a chance. you get to learn. And you slowly over time you you grow and you learn and stuff. I've uh, I've noticed when I go over the analysis, I'm I'm actually like a an okay chess player up until kind of the mid game and especially the end game but like my openings and I haven't studied any openings to, to be clear like I haven't actually studied anything I've just done puzzles and like played chess for the past couple of days um, that's that's it like that's that's my chess experience <laughs> and then some uh, some kind of like third um, you know, third person kind of stuff through uh, through Queen's Gambit and Northern Lion that's 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 it though really so not not an awful lot, but uh, my sort of like handling opening stuff is is actually pretty decent. I find because when I'm going over the analysis, it's oftentimes like you know book move. This was the best move. This was an excellent move. You know yada yada yada. I don't often get like you know inaccuracies, mistakes, blunders, anything like that uh, towards the early game. It's uh, it's mostly excellent best moves and occasionally good moves and then you know we get into the uh, the mid game and then it's like blunder inaccuracy missed win and I'm like oh hey cool but uh, you know you get to you get to go over those analyses see what you should have done and and why it would have mattered and slowly get to to grow yourself into a much more adequate chess player which is uh, is cool is really really nice so I don't really want to do another spillway I'm kind of sick of spillway at this point with everything that happened earlier on in the episode uh, yeah so we're just we're gonna short of cash. 
end it there. But so I've been having fun with chess. I've been having fun with chess. If you guys haven't played it, chess.com. Go play some chess. It's, it's a it's a good time. It's a good time. You might you might play me if you're ranked about uh, 300, <laughs> which is about where I am. 300 to like 400 is about where I kind of set tend to stay. Sometimes I get up to like 550 if I uh, get lucky, really. But uh, yeah, about 300 to 400 or whatever. It's funny watching uh, Northern Lion play because he's playing like you know 1500s ish. And uh, just seeing the way the games kind of develop between two people who have no clue what they're doing and two people who do know what they're doing but aren't necessarily experts. You know, people who know what they're doing but aren't uh, the best at it, you know. Um, it, it, it's fascinating seeing how the games develop and like, the, the different way that everybody handles something because I'll, I'll go into something expecting them to handle something like I would expect Northern Lion or Northern Lion's opponent to handle something and then they'll do something different or I'll go into something and uh, I won't expect something and it's just maybe it just goes in alphabetical order I don't know anyway I was planning on doing Steam Fortress next anyway. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,